What's up, everybody? This is Jason, Zombie Collector, and I have received one of the sweetest, kindest, just earth-shattering care packages from the most gentlest soul on YouTube. Uh, you know, as we all know, he is a, a known sympathizer of 1940s Germany. If you go back and watch one of his videos, you're going to definitely know what we're talking about. He blew the lid off of Slabgate. I mean, with the Zebrek and Deutsch. I mean, it was just unbelievable. And he knew he just had an old-timey feeling. I wasn't going to make it to the National this year. And I'm not going to recap a whole, the whole reasons why, but him and I have talked and spoken, and, and I told him it just wasn't going to happen. I kind of held off to the last minute hoping it could happen. But life happened. I just couldn't make it. And so he wanted to send me his junk and his trunk. And we all know that there's a lot of great guys and gals up in the Wisconsin area that have some junk in their trunk. But he wanted to send me his own personal junk in his own trunk. And he sent me this nice little um, card as well. So let's read it. I have not read this card. I've not read anything about it. I've not opened up my junk in the trunk box. But this was very kind. Oh, I should say who this person is. I just feel like it's already understood. I mean, he is just blowing up the internet and just completely just lighting on. I mean, he's taking the mantle away from Bob Lewis. I mean, this guy here I'm getting ready to mention might be my new best friend. I mean, who knew that this, he could be knocked off, Bob could be knocked off his pedestal. But I think both Bob and I have come to terms with Mark Stove Sports, who's a big dumb idiot. And now we're like going to fight for who's best friends. You know how you always in high school and middle school, the one, the one or two cute girls would always have one ugly friend they hang out with because it made them feel better about themselves and they knew there wasn't any competition. Well, I feel like that's kind of between me, Bob, and Mark now. That you know, but I'm not for sure who's the ugly girl in this scenario. Now that I think about it, it might be me. Maybe I'm the one. Maybe I'm getting ready to get punked. I'm punking myself here. So, with all that being said, he sent me a nice little letter. Let's it reads: I know you're bummed that you can't make it to the show. This is true. I am too. Aw, uh, see what a sweet, what a sweet guy. Here's a junk trunk. And an extra card I have in my collection. I have two. Keep it sleazy, as I always do. Stof Sports. Some people say Stoff. I'm gonna go with Stof. I think that's. I think I've heard him say Stof. So I like Stofer, like Stofer stuffing. So I'm gonna say Stof. So let's take a look at this card. Holy guacamole, dude! Are you serious right now? Is this? This is not a reprint. This card is so hard to find. This might be a Jim Mint 11, like Harold Baines edition. This card is so hard to find in this kind of condition because it's uh, prone to chipping. Is an Ichiro Suzuki Tops 2001 rookie card. And it is not the reprint because I thought it was a reprint, which would have been fine uh, because there's all kinds of ones that they make. But I don't think so. It looks like the real McCoy. Holy smokes, dude. Thank you so much, Mark. That is so kind. But it, like as you can see, usually through here, there's a lot of chipping. And these packs, when they were created, the way they were sealed in the pack and then in the, I don't know, the gloss they put on there, whatever you want to say, it caused them to stick together. So not only was there just regular chipping because of the green is, was prone to it, when it would heat up or cold, uh, cold uh, you know, cool off or whatever, it started chipping. So when you try to pull them together, pull them apart, you're going to usually pull off parts of the card. So anyways, this car looks super sleazy. So, dude, Mark, thank you. So here we go. The junk trunk. Now, that, now if you all don't know this, this is uh, Mark stole the idea from Phil. Mark's, Mark's uh, clientele are people like me who have been out, priced out of Phil's 
um, box. Phil has one called, um, I don't know, Head in a Box or Rookie Explosion Box. And so uh, I think his price tag on his is like $281.63 for a box. That's just, I'm just a wee bit outside of that. So Mark was like, you know what? There's there's uh, some poor sh schmucks that would appreciate my trunk junk in my trunk. Would I, I'll send some your way. And so let's take a look at what that might look like. So here it is. What you were holding in your hands is a culmination of minutes of preparation. Minutes, guys. Minutes. And painstaking research. Right? The first sentence already sets him apart from Phil and his explosion box. These artisan packs, we have artisan coffees, we have artisan alcoholic beers, we have artisan now colas, soft drinks. Now we have artisan packs. Are certified organic, gluten free, and dolphin safe. Well, this is definitely no star kissed box and have been hand curated and vine ripened by your cardboard summers to provide. I, mean, I went to a public school, so that word was like a $30 word, and I'm mostly in that $10 to $15 range to provide you with the freshest junk wax experience on the market today. The following is a suggested tasting order we have determined to provide you with to the most satisfying journey. It is in no way mandatory. Include, included with each item are notable rookie cards that can be found within. Please do not eat the cards. Luckily, I went to Popeye's right before I got home from my friends uh, this past weekend with uh, my son, Luca, and I'm not hungry. So we're going to have a 1988 score, it looks like. 1989 score, 1990 score, that's the appetizers. Magnificent. And then we have the main course, 1986 tops, 1987 tops, 1988 tops, 1989 tops, and 1990 tops. And don't be, 1989 tops and the 1990 Bowman, sorry. And that would be the main course, Bellissimo. And then we have a bonus pack. One in a three boxes will be replaced a 1988 score pack with a 1986 Fleer pack, a 1986 Donruss, or a 1984 Tops. And the dessert, uh -huh, will be a 1989 Upper Deck High Series. High Series. I think whoever created this paper might have been already visiting Colorado. So, all right, guys, let's take a look here. Let me get my junk trunk out. Wow, man, this is great. Absolutely great. 1986 tots. Man. 1988, 87. 1989. This is awesome. 89 uh, upper deck. All right, guys, let's get into it. I'm going to do 1989 score right here. So on this, we're looking for Craig Biggio, John Smoltz, Gary Sheffield, and Randy Johnson rookie cards. So let's take a gander and see what we can come up with. We got Kevin the Big Bulge Mitchell. Cocaine Keith Hernandez, everybody's favorite uh, mustache rider. Oda B. McDowell, everybody's favorite saying his name, Oda B. Pat, make sure you stay off my borders. That'd be hilarious if he was actually from Mexico. Dwight Evans, right there, popping the squad. We got Wallace Johnson. A year to remember 1959, the year Phil was born, filming 10 was born, 1959. Good year. Floyd Bannister. Luis Alcia. He's a Puerto Rico. So this one might end up in a Victor Negron's box. Rick Mailer. J Bell. Then we got Steve Bouchel. Not to be confused with Steve Bushimi. Ron Gant. 
He's a good TTMer if you're a TTMer. Jimmy, I forgot my key. Mike Diaz. Bo Diaz's illegitimate child. Bob Melvin, who had a more successful career as a manager, I believe. And the rookie of, the, of this box or this pack was Carlos Quintana, who opened up a chain of hotels. So that was my first pack. I love going down memory lane, getting all emo. So next up, I have a 1990 score. In this one, we could find Juan Gonzalez, Sammy Sosa, Bernie Williams, Frank Thomas, and Mo Vaughn, which I didn't say the is a poor man's David Ortiz, Big Poppy. So first up, we have a Darnell Rake Me Over the Coals. Scott Fletcher, John Franco, depending on where you are with the Franco world, either he's a red or he's a Met. To me, he's always a being a red, but he had a very successful career with the New York Mets. Then we have Randy W. Bush. He was a first W. Oh, Craig Biggio. Boom. Oh, wait, this is not the rookie card, but that's cool. If it was been the year before, but we got him as a catcher. He late, later goes on to become a second baseman, so he's going off to the side. Then we got the uh, uh, little, uh, whatever you call this, like sport flick card, uh, AL 1977. Oh, another Barry Larkin for my Barry Larkin PC. Nice. Then we got Rick Christina Aguilera. This is her dad. Look at that big old beard. Then we got Tim. Do you want to tuffle with me? Don't you start a tuffle. Luis Quiones. Luis Quiones with the Reds. Tim packs a wallet. Well, I'm dropping stuff. Terry Pendu Pendleton. Dave Lippier. Liper, Lipper, Leper. Let's go with Dave Leper. Scott Beds, Bed Rosen. Mike F. Scott Fitzgerald. Mickey Hatcher. And Roy, Rookie of the Year Smith, which was named after him. A lot of people think R O Y stands for just Roy, but really it's Rookie of the Year. That's his full name. His full legal God-given name is Rookie of the Year. All right, next up is 1987 Tops. So here we go. With that, we're looking for Barry Bonds. We are looking for Bo Jackson, Will Clark, Barry Larkin, and Rafael Palmero. Nice. You can tell this has not been um, pre-searched. Love it. This is what I want to know. Now, you have, the, you have the gum right here still stuck to the cards from back in 87, but this one has a gum stain on that, this Ted Simmons card. How is that possible? Inquiring minds want to know. So that's cool. All right, so next up we have Rudy Law. I just love these cards. I just love the 1987. I mean, this is like nostalgia all the way. So we got Rudy Law. B.J. Surhoff, rookie card. Craig Reynolds. Todd Worrell. Ron Kittle. That's old Kittlecorn. Tom Nito. Rangers leaders. And we got Dave Concepcion. This is the one who had the actual uh, style. Shoot, all of a sudden I found the gum. Andy Van Slyke, Barry Bonds' uh, best friend from the Pirates. Brian Clutterbuck. My name is Clutterbuck, and I'm here to duck. Mike Smithsonian. Smith. Oh, that's Smithson. Sorry. My, he might as well be. This card and him probably both are located currently in the Smithsonian. And then we have a nice printing 
defect right going through Jay Howell. Then we got Daryl Boston. That might be one of those ones that's going to end up in Bob's collection or even uh, Mark's collection, that face. Then we got John Russell or Russell, depending on where you're where you're at. And we got Clint Hurdle, who became a, a pretty uh, successful manager. We got Lance McCullers, McCullers, McCue. And then we got Ted Simmons. A lot of people think he should be a Hall of Famer. All right, so there you got 1987 tops. 1988 tops is going to have. Where is it? Uh, 1988 tops is not in here. What? Oh, there it is. Tom Glavin or Ken Ken Caminetti. So let's take a look here. I'm hoping for the Tom Glavin, if I'm going to be honest. And the car that has the bubble gum, I just tore it off, is the Dennis Rasmutin. Rasmutin. All right, then we got Steve. Trouser Trout. That's uh, that's Mike Trout's pappy. Jim Acker. Pedro, not the mental heavyweight Guerrero. Then we got Don Ass. That's his name. I'm just saying his name. Don't be a Don Ass. Then we got Eddie Williams. We got Bob Melvin. Then we got Dennis Rasmussen. Don't worry, guys. Take care and take my heart in this situation. Then we got Rick Shoe. Shoe Fly Shoe. Then we got Willie Randolph. Kevin, I need an Alka Seltzer. Or that Seltzer, sorry. Jose Guzman. Oh, another Tom Nito. Manny Trio. And Hall of Famer Jack Morris. He looks like he's just really excited about being there. All right, next up. 1986 Tops. Lenny Dykstra. Ozzy Guillen. Cecil Fielder. Let's take a look. Man, I day six tops. That's when I really started collecting. That's the that as that's the flavor, as Papino Man would say. So we got Jerry Murphy. Love these cards. Bruce Bocci. Kent Herbeck. Steve Bed Rosion. Glenn Wilson. We got Tim Raines, Hall of Famer Tim Raines. This was cut weird. We got Randy Hunt for Red October. Kevin Bass, Kevin Seabass. Then we got Johnny Lemester. Uh -huh. All right, then we got next up, we have Ed Wonja, Wonja, Wonja No, Brian Harper, Bert Bly Levin, Hall of Famer, right? Is he Hall of Famer? I'm going to say he is. Johnny Grubb, Sean Dunstan, and Kurt Young. So there you go there. Next up, we have some 1988 score. So this is Tom Glavin. Let's take a gander. Ooh, Hall of Famer George Barrett. Shout out to Blue Jacket 66, Dave. Pete O'Brien. Another Lee Smith. Shout out to, I don't know, what is this? Shout out to uh, Carter's Kids, Steve. Bob Brindley, Robbie Thompson, Greg Sidewell, Swindell. We got great moments in baseball, 1981 Astrodome. 
Sid Bream. Oh, shout out to Bob Lewis, Barry Bob. Shout out to Nate, Top 85 401. Yeah. We got Ted Huggy Bear Higuera. Ooh, Paul Molitor. Shout out to Justice uh, Scove Big Hits. Scove's Big Hits, baby. He's a Brewer fan. We got Mitch Webster. Daryl Porter. Steve Howe. Rick Shue. Oh, my prospect card is Tim Cruz. Oh, shout out to Eric. Uh, Oakland A's 915, Mark McGuire. And then we got Mike Aldretti. Sweet. All right, I got a few more packs, guys. 1989 Tops. So we're looking for John Smoltz, Randy Johnson, or Gary Sheffield. Out of the cello pack. And the gum's falling everywhere. There we go. Oh, oh. All right, we got to get this thing. Then we got Roger, uh, Crip, uh, the, the Crip Keeper Craig, Tim Burke. <clears throat> oh, okay, it's up there. Tops. So then we got Jim Eppard, Randy Bush. Joe Youngblood, Dave Anderson, Taylor Taylor, Terry Taylor, Waddy Black Backman, Jose Rijo. Then we got Michael Jack Schmidt on this Phillies card. Brad Moore, David Meads, Dave Parker, the old Cobra, Dave Otto. And then we got Greg Olson, which is a, all right, that was he was like a big deal there during the uh, what 1989. Everybody was looking at Dave like Greg Olson card. Second to last pack is 1990. Bowman looking for Frank Thomas, Sammy Sosa, Larry Walker, and Bernie Williams. So let's take a look. All right, let's take a look here. We got Robin Yant, which I like there. We got Darren Dalton, Ellis Brooks, Burks, sorry, Lloyd McClendon, Greg Hibbard, Mike Gallego, Mike Lavari, Lavelli, I don't know, Bob, you can tell me how to pronounce his name, <coughs> Tom Flash Gordon, oh, here is Steve Carter's kid, shout out, Dave Winfield, boom. Louis Salazar, Bob Hamlin, Joe Price, Jose Price, Bill Sampin, Carlos Barrega, and Terry, oops, Terry Pendleton. All right, those are a couple of Hall of Famers in that one. Nice. And then last, surely not least, 23 minutes in, is the 1989 Upper Deck. So let's take a look here. And see what we come up with. We have Charlie Lay, Junior Ortiz, Mike or Nick Esk was it? Esky, Jerome Walton, Joe McGrain, Chris Brown. Uh oh, I'm dropping stuff. Stickers. Kirk Gibson. Uh oh, I, I dropped a sticker. I got a Yankee sticker and something else. Ooh, Jose Canseco. Right there. Ryan Sandberg. Look at the way it's cut, guys. Look at that. It's miscut here. And then not cut here. Oops. We're not cut here. And then miscut here. We got George Barrett. Another shout out to Blue Jacket. Larry Owen. Rick Honeycutt. Dave Dravecki. And then Dan Plesak. So, guys, that is it. Thank you so much to Stove Sports. Even though he's a big, dumb idiot. 
Thank you very much, Mark. That was so kind of you to think of me. And um, it's such a better product than Phil's rookie card explosion box. I mean, dude, that box being like two hundred plus dollars, this is like I think you said around fifteen schmeckles for a cheap guy like myself. That's perfect. So, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Peace, love, and hair grease, and I'm out.